Hello everybody, I just want to make a quick little uh, video to show off a really cool trick that you can do with Firebug and in, uh, in, in Firefox and with the Chrome Inspector also in Chrome. Perhaps you can do this in Safari as well, uh, I haven't tried it. But uh, it allows you to use the arrow keys to change the positions of things and change the settings so that you can get it right down to a fine, you know, pixel perfect kind of a setup. And then once you know that setup, you you know you can then move that to your actual CSS on your page, and uh, and have that be the setting. But we're going to actually kind of try it out in our browser using the Firebug and the Chrome Inspector tools. So let's first go down to this little um, blue arrow right here. We're in Firebug right now. And then this F12 brings up Firebug, and I'm going to click on this image right here. Okay, so click that, and click on this. And uh, is Firebug's a little different from Chrome. We're going to just work on the first idea, the first thing here, image, border none. I'm going to double click that and hit enter. And that allows me to start entering a new item. Okay. So we'll put in margin. And then uh, let's put in some 0px, 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 0px. Now you want to do that, put in all four so you have your from top, uh, counterclockwise, I mean going clockwise, from the top going clockwise, you have top, right, bottom, left, okay? So again, that's top, right, bottom, and left. So we're going to, oh, I'm going to erase my thing here. 0px, 0px, no, not pz, px. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to position the arrow and just start uh, moving my up arrow and look at my up arrow is increasing the value for the top margin which is pushing down the image okay well that's all very nice what if i go in the uh, op opposite direction well then it moves up of course towards zero but when i get into the negative numbers yes indeed it does keep on moving up okay now this seems to be the top margin seems to be the best way to move things around uh, as far as up and down. I'll put this back to zero and show you moving the bottom margin uh, will push things away from the bottom. So we'll push items below off. So let me just move this down here so you see what I'm talking about. So let's increase this bottom margin and you see it's pushing off the stuff that's below but it's not changing the position of the actual image on the page. Use top margin for that. Okay, so again, let's go up here and oh, drag. Okay, and move it up. And I'm going to move it up enough so that it overlaps this picture a little bit. Now, uh, it's a little bit jerky in. Uh, Firefox compared to Chrome's Inspector. Uh, Chrome's Inspector, the numbers climb really, really fast. In fact, I'll even give you a little quick demo because there are some differences to how the Inspector works. Okay, so there we have that. Now you can also do left and right positioning. The best one to use for that seems to be the right margin um, for changing uh, position of things. And, uh, it allows me, here I'll go with something really extreme. So there you can have an extreme right move or I can make this negative and have it be an extreme left move. When you're using the um, right margin, this is the left margin I should say, when you use the left margin you get quite a bit of leeway. When you use the right margin you can only push over just so far and it starts to fail on you. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean. If I go in the minus 50, for instance, that is fine in that it moves over that away quite a bit. Well, I'm fine, 500. But if I make this a positive number, it only moves over that far. Okay, so to go any further, I have to use the um, left margin in order to diminish the left margin. Okay, so then I have 
the ability to move all the way over. And there we go. See? All right. So now that you got those, and we just uh, get this back to where it's kind of average. Um, another thing that's very cool is the thing called the Z index, which allows you to position which is going to be on top and which is on bottom. And in order to do that, you've got to set position to relative or the Z index won't work. So then you can set a Z index and I'm just going to set this for 10 for now. You won't see any change because the uh, both items have to have a Z index setting. Okay. Um, if right now at the moment they're, they'll both be pretty much equivalent. Um, and so you won't see any difference. So I'll set this for 10 and, um, Another thing you might know about is opacity, which, I'll, which at zero uh, makes it invisible, and at one makes it visible. And at uh, percentage points, so you can't change this with the uh, arrow keys, at percentage points, 0 0.5, then you get differing amounts of transparency. Now, this doesn't always work as well as a transparent PNG. And I don't think it works in all browsers going way, way back. But this is how uh, transparency is now controllable right in the browser level using CSS. Okay. But for now, let's um, just make this be one. And I'm going to click on this picture up here and change it instead. Okay. So there's this picture now. I'm going to double click on the last of the elements that's been edited and hit enter and put in a um, position relative. Remember, Z index doesn't work without position relative. Then Z index, and I'll start with 10, which is the same as the other one. But the minute I make it 11, look what happens. It winds up being on top. So at 10 or 9 or 8, it's below. But the minute I give it a higher number than the Z index of the one below it, it takes the top position. OK, isn't that cool? So uh, so that's how you handle the layering. And yeah, I'm sure you can imagine the possibilities, uh, especially with transparency, that if I'm able to, uh, with the opacity setting, that if I'm able to control the opacity of various types of images, I mean, it could just be a solid block, you know, and uh, give it a 0.6 transparency level and put it on top. And there you go. Okay. So right now at 11, it's equal to the one above. At 12, it would be one above, one over. Okay. So um, I hope that's really helpful in terms of Firebug. Now let's take a quick look over at Chrome just so you see the difference in how things are done. It's a bit different in that you select your item using the little magnifying glass on the bottom. You see that down there? and uh, click on that, select your item. But now you're going to go into element style in order to add your thing. So let's do margin and do 0px, px, 0px, 0px. And again, we'll, um, we'll affect the top margins by placing our cursor. You double click and then click one more time. And now I have, uh, access to that and look how much faster this tends to work okay so um yeah it just it really zips in fact it zips faster than i think the browser can react uh likewise moving my left and right is uh is pretty fast so you're not waiting as much but for either when you're just looking for one pixel increments to see get something you know pixel perfect positioning uh, that's fantastic right there. And then again, if you want to do the Z index, uh, you do that opacity works the same way. Remember, it's tab to use your autocomplete, by the way, not enter when you're in Chrome. And uh, so we'll set this to 0 0.8. And, um, and let's do a position relative and Z index. And look, it's arguing with me about that. And uh, 
Z index. I must have a setting somewhere else with this thing of 11. So here we go. Now it's now it's taking it. And so now I can go to this other image and in the same area under element style give it a Z index for instance position relative or Z index will not work without that Z index of 12 and now it's on top okay uh, it seems to kill the opacity when you put an item on top I I'm not sure what that's about. I haven't really experimented with opacity because uh, I usually use transparent PNGs to do the same thing. Um, it just seems safer because it's more browser compatible. And then I'll position the PNG over the top of something else using this Z index and uh, and the position things. But um, you know, it, I that, that's an area where I just don't know. I fall down or I don't know the difference of why why the uh, opacity would not work in one instance and it, uh, but of course right now there's nothing to be opaque to because it's underneath something so that might be why the opacity has disappeared okay and uh, most likely in fact is why let's see if I just move this up when a minute it winds up on top you have opacity well of course that makes sense I'm opaque to a white white background right now so you don't see any opacity you only see opacity because there's something behind it all right so that was just an optical illusion it was throwing me a little bit okay well, i hope this is all real helpful and you have some stuff you can play with and get into the whole thing of using your arrow keys to move stuff around and, uh, and get pixel precision on where you have things put then when you're all done you got your settings just Go in here and uh, copy and paste the settings that worked and paste them into your CSS and you're golden. Okay. Uh, in fact, I think you can even do such a thing in these editors here. No, you can't, but that would be cool. Anyway, but that's how you do it. Get your CSS that way. Okay, well, I hope this is real, real helpful and... Uh, and of course, post any kinds of questions, either at the YouTube uh, question area, you know, in the comments, or you can go to the webpage where all this is at terrybritton.com and uh, post some questions to me over there. Alrighty, take care.